Andreas Giorgio for MMA Plus post fight, ACB 70, K yes, Musa, the best performance we have ever seen from you tonight against the best opponent of you have ever faced. Yes. Is that all you expected tonight? Yes, 100%. I knew going into this fight that Alex Sandlin had areas in his game that we would be able to take advantage of. And everyone's always said, K Musa is striking. I've always heard commentators say, K Musa's got good striking. Yeah, but I'm thinking, you haven't really seen me demonstrate it. But tonight, I was able to demonstrate and show people that, yeah, I have got good striking, I've got a solid chin, and I'm not here to play, play games. I've just beat the featherweight champion. I've just beat someone who was signed to the UFC and wasn't able, wasn't, um, got dropped due to something to do with his brain. Um, and I've just shown everybody that I can take these guys out. We know that there was, of course, some form of pressure on Alex tonight coming back after such a lengthy layoff due to the medical problems. But for yourself, was there also pressure? Because there seems to have always been questions around you. K Musa, he, you know, we, we know he can do better. We've not seen the best from K Musa, obviously the Mark D. Casey yeah. fight as well, the, the knockout. But there's always been question marks there and there's always been frustration as well. Yeah. Have you felt that frustration and was that kind of tonight you venting it out? Yeah, I felt the frustration and to be fair with you, to be honest with you, I'm a, I'm a big critic of myself. I'm probably the biggest critic of myself. And I feel like if, even in that fight, I could have done a lot more. Uh, but, you know, let's not, let's not take away from yourself, Kane. But... I could have done a lot more fighting. I could have worked a bit more behind my hands. I could have landed more combinations. But I'm happy that I've been able to prove all the critics, all of you critics, all of you haters. Yeah, I've proved you all wrong today. I've shown you all that I've got a chin like granite and I've got hands like iron. So whoever wants it, let me know. You can get it. Where, where has this improvement come from? Because if we actually look at the previous performances, it's that the, the evidence is right there in, in the cage tonight. Mm -hmm. You've just been working harder. What, what's different yeah, for you? Yeah, let's, let's be honest. And this is what I'm trying to say. I didn't want to say anything about it until I got a big win. But I'll say it now. The fight with Mark D. Casey, my uncle Anthony, he was in hospital for the whole fight camp. He was in hospital for the whole fight camp. He had a, a blood clot in his, in his groin and I couldn't train with him. So I didn't have any proper programming to go into the cage with. I'm someone that needs to be programmed. I'm like Tyson, that you program me, I'll go in and I'll execute. With, with the Mark fight, I wasn't able to execute because there was no programming. So when I went in there, I felt lost. I didn't know what really what was going on. Uh, with the Lewis Monarch fight, I got uh, tonsillitis on the Wednesday. I took a load of penicillin, a load of fucking day nurse. When I got into the first scramble exchange with him and pushed him against the fence, my lungs were on fire. I thought to myself, shit, I did what I had to do as a veteran in the sport and someone who's wise, and I controlled the fight in the best way I knew. So you can't really judge me off that. And now I knew coming into this fight, this is me. My uncle Anthony's back. I've been training with him. He's sharpened me up. It, 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 I've got no illnesses. I've come into this fight fresh. And that's what I do. That is what I do. You've just beaten the man who was the Cage Warriors featherweight champion. Yeah. This was, of course, a lightweight fight. Well, he still is, really and truly. He's not been beat, has he? He, yeah. he? he was the Cage Warriors champion. Then he got signed to the UFC. So, really and truly, I'm the Cage Warriors champion. <laughs> really and truly, let's be real about it. I'm the champ. But lightweight for you, that, that's, that's still where you're staying, I'm right? Probably, all right, I'm going to let you know. Probably the next fight, I'm going to go down to 66. So, you featherweights are fucked. Featherweight, right? So... This, this, I've seen it on Twitter, Paddy Pimbler, I've seen the, the calls there. Paddy ain't ready for me. You've just seen what I do to these guys. Paddy is not ready for me. Paddy Pimbler, you ain't ready for me. You've just seen what I do. You get, you have got bamboo legs and you can get it as well. But like I said to you, at the end of the day, is Paddy, is Paddy even ranked above, is he ranked above me after this now? I don't know, let's see. Let's see where you are because you would see me, I'm looking to climb, climb and climb. Yeah, and I'm looking to be a dangerous rival to anybody. So if Paddy's not ranked above me, I'm not really asked about Paddy. Brendan was going to smash Paddy's head in anyway, so I'll leave it to Brendan.